Hey, Walter and Jenny, how are you? I'm doing great, teacher. What about you? Ah, uh, wonderful. Nice. It's a good, it's already Tuesday. Um, we had a little bit of an earthquake, but yeah. Yeah, I felt uh, so scared. I yeah. don't know, but, but uh, I don't know. It's happening. I think it's normal. Yeah, but it. Uh, I, I felt that it, it had been a while before since we had the last earthquake. So I yeah. was a little surprised because normally we don't have one for so long. Yeah, but uh, I, I remember uh, uh, I was driving when it happened uh, uh, earthquake. <laughs> but oh. when you stay sit, uh, I don't know. I feel I felt uh, I felt completely earthquake. Uh, all moves. And in the car, did you feel it? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> yeah. It, it, but it after it. that, my wife, my family, hey, what, what happened? What did you, you fall the, the earthquake? What? <laughs> no. You're saying nah. nah. <laughs> Not at all, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Are, 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 uh, you were sick when happened the earthquake? I was laying down. I was on the sofa. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was on the sofa laying down and then, hey, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pay attention because eh, I say, yeah, it's the first one. It's, it's normally very soft, but then it came, it went, it returned, yeah. <laughs> and then it got, it got harder. I said, wow, it's, it's a little bit big. Uh -huh. yeah. So I was a little surprised by it. I don't know. So, uh, uh, Sabal was the epicenter. I'm not sure. I think so. I, I mean, mm, it felt pretty strong. I'm not sure if we were the epicenter, uh, yeah. but uh, pretty close. Mm -hmm. And Walter, what do you do? What's your job? Uh, right now, nice. Um, I'm doing my my. Uh, uh, I quit my job uh one years ago, teacher, but um. Um, try doing something with my with my wife in order to try to survive, but mm -hmm. work it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what you studied your own business or what? Ah, uh, my wife and, and, and me. So, uh, doing some uh, a, a business like a typical food. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you... only support to my wife, but she is the chef in order to cook the 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 the, the typical food. A lot of work. A lot of work to. Yeah, yeah, food. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, it's good. It's good to have some activities, and well, you know, if you quit your job, I I hope that everything is okay, because. I don't know. I I I, I stopped. Uh working because i felt so sick mm. uh, yeah but i don't know i i talked with my wife and said and told her hey i need to stop to work because if i continue to work probably die <laughs> i don't know what do you want <laughs> wow yeah. yeah so i don't know i feel so stressed i don't know okay yeah it's so difficult so I, I was working for 14 years continually at, at a bank. Mm -hmm. I was like a salesperson uh, at Banco Agricola, Citibank. I don't know. I feel so stressful. Uh, every day to travel from Santa Ana to San Salvador. I don't know. It's so difficult. Uh, so you every day from Santa Ana here? Yeah. Wow, that's a long. That's a long. I was time. working in a, a a a financial center around to Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a bit. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a, I feel. I mean, even here in San Salvador, and you, and you live in Santa Ana. To travel is very big. The distance. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in order to try to 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 to. Uh, save money. Mm -hmm. I use a transport, a public transport, 
I don't know, it's difficult. I can imagine. Yeah. But when you use your your own car in order to travel, if you have the the enough money mm -hmm. in order to pay a gas every day, I don't know. I think it's so easy, but uh sometimes I think it's so stressful to driving a lot. Yeah, and it's very expensive because yeah. it's a lot of money to drive yeah. from Santa Ana to San Salvador every day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much all for connecting. I see we have several people. Um, we're going to continue with uh, the speaking portion of our exams and our questions. Remember, we have two different types of questions. Yeah. I'm going to share my screen with you so we can take a look at it. So yesterday we noticed that we had the first type of questions. Remember, um, the typical questions, more about personal views and opinions and if you agree, agree or disagree, okay? Now, today we're gonna to be looking at questions number two, independent question number two, okay? So that we get a better idea of it. Uh, here, okay. Uh, Jefferson, can you please read the question? Of course, teacher. If you could donate a large amount of money for scientific or medical research, how will you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need or more research. Explain how your money could make a difference in that field or research. Okay. So as you can see, all of the types of questions that you're going to get are, they. you don't have to be an expert, but you do have to be able to express a personal opinion. You have to be able to express comparatives. You have to be able to describe and give details, okay? So it doesn't say this area. It says scientific or medical. So that means any area within those two. The only thing is you have to explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. And that's more complicated. More complicated because there are many fields and you have to have at least one and give details about it, okay? So as it mentions right before, it says, describe one important area in need of more research. Many, many things is choose something that is easy for you to describe. Don't try to think about it like in Spanish, like, oh, this. no. Always select the area that you have more vocabulary in, right? If you want something scientific, great. If you want something uh, for medical, great. But it's not about the answer. The person listening, they don't care. They don't care your opinion. You can say it's not about your opinion. It's about your English. So if you want to speak about scientific, but you don't have the vocabulary, don't select scientific. Select medical. If you want to speak about medical and you don't know anything about medical, select scientific. The idea is select the area where you have more knowledge in, not the area that you really want to talk about. It's not about your, it's not about what you are going to solve. You don't have the money. You are not going to get the money. Nobody cares about the money. They only care about your English, right? So choose general areas if you are confused. Oh, one of the areas that I would talk about is cancer research. If you know a specific cancer, say it. If you don't know a specific cancer, don't say it, okay? Okay. Oh, scientific research. Oh, one of the things that I would like to find is to see if there is life on other planets because I'm, I believe that we cannot be the only. That's fine. If you want that, if you want to talk about it, great. If you know how to pronunciate and you know the word extraterrestrial and you know aliens, use it. If you don't, don't try to speak the way that you speak in Spanish. Speak how you speak in English. The way that you speak in Spanish is one way. The, spa the way that you speak in English is different. There are two different things and you have two different personalities. So one, whatever you know in English, that's what you want to do. And yesterday we talked a little bit about it. We tried it. Remember, we have 15, 16, 15 seconds to prepare. And then we have 45 seconds to answer it. The most important is continue, continue and continue speaking. But do not repeat the same idea. If you already mentioned one idea, select another topic. Go for more details. 
If you have a two of them and you still have time, select another topic and more. The important is not to continue and continue the same thing, is to start and develop. Develop with examples, details, uh, information, criteria, okay? So as an example, you can make it sound professional. It doesn't have to be professional. It can sound professional. Um, as an example, it, Okay. If I had a large amount of money for scientific research or medical research, I would choose medical because I know a lot of people that suffer from cancer. In fact, studies show that medical research is in lack of funding and they need more money. I know that right now we don't have a cure for all types of cancers. And I think that that's the reason that my, and you see, and then you just begin to do, 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 okay? Oh, I am really touched by children with cancer. I am touched by adult, whatever. And I didn't mention any cancer. I didn't tell you which cancer. If you have the name, use it. But if you don't have the name, use general vocabulary. Right? Like in Spanish. In Spanish, people love to use the correct names. Otorringolcólogo. Oh, in English is... Uh, the, the nose and ear doctor. That's it. You don't know, you use the general name. In Spanish, ah, no, el doctor de la nariz. No, es que se llama. Da, 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 da. You're speaking, you're, if you don't know it, you're being evaluated. You don't have time to correct it. You have time to use it. So right now we're going to practice that. And we're going to practice a little bit more after that, we're going to practice other speaking activities. So the first one is this one, right? Let's make our partners. Remember, watch the time. Time your partners. Okay. Let's get, let me see if we have any people that cannot participate. I think everybody is able to today, which is great. Okay. Remember, 15 seconds and 45 seconds, your partner. So we'll have the question two times. Five minutes is more than enough. Fatima, you having problems connecting? Uh, maybe I have some internet connection because I didn't do anything and suddenly the the, the server uh, from, um, didn't connect very well, I guess. Okay, no problem. We'll try to push you to another room. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. William, you having some problems connecting?
William. Yes, can you add me to the breakup number three, please? Let's try. In which which one number three? Yeah. William. Okay, I see. Let's try again. Okay, let's try it. Let's see together some of your answers. That way we can analyze it and see how we can improve it and make it better. Who would like to be the volunteer? Who would like to be the first person to answer the question? 45 seconds. Oh. Everybody wants to speak English and nobody wants to practice. Interesting. Very I would like to speak English, teachers. Okay, there you go. There you go, Sandra. All right, okay. Sandra. Let's imagine this is a question. Let's listen and see what we can do from it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let me open it up. Two. Please listen carefully. If you could donate a large amount of money for scientific or medical research, how would you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need of more research. Explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. If I have uh, money and I have the opportunity to donate money, uh, I will do it for a, for a hospital in a village in El Salvador uh, because uh, there are so many needs here. Um, the important uh, area would be to, to help people with lupus. Uh, in in the village there is no 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 good equipment so uh, the money would be uh, serving for for buying new new modern equipment and help people with lupus in El Salvador um, there are another is, is sickness but lupus okay is thank you very much very nice all right thank you great job Great job, Sandra. The important is that you had an idea. You talked about a specific area. Uh, yeah. There are a couple of areas that we can improve. The most yeah. important is when you speak, you speak in sections. So you need to speak fluently. You say, you speak like in parts, like uh, the most important part of the, uh -huh. so we need to try to work on that. That's the first part. The yeah. other is, okay, good. Um, the other is, we have to be clear about the question, right? So you talked about it, about lupus, right? 
Okay. So, if I did you explain to us how your money could make a difference in the research of lupus? Well, because with the money, uh, they will be able to buy new equipment, modern equipment. Okay. All right. So it says, describe one area in need of more research, right? So the area, the idea is not the treatment. And that's where you have to be careful because you described the area of treatment in El Salvador. You would have treatment centers of lupus and you say, I will build a place in a small town, and, but you are talking about the treatment and you are not answering the question. Mm -hmm. so. okay so you have to be careful because in is you are trying to get your points and to get the point you have to answer specifically what they ask you and not try to deviate or go somewhere else so mm -hmm. very good also remember that in your grammar you have the good idea but in grammar whenever you begin with if and you're imagining you're going to use the past tense so mm -hmm. you're not going to say if i have is always if, if I had. If I had. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't I say if I had? No, you said if I have. You uh, said if I have a lot of money, I and so it's. If I were a billionaire, could be. No. no. If I were, always in the past tense. If I okay. were, if I okay. had, if I could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, of course. Where are the nerves? No, that's the idea. That's the purpose. Because that's why we have three months of TOEFL training. So that yes. when we go to the test, we have better idea of how to do it correctly. Yes. You're okay. right. Good. You're right. No, Thank excellent. You. Let's take a look at another person. One more volunteer. Remember, the idea is not only for you, but for the other people to see and learn from each other's mistakes and what we can improve each one. Who's next? Who's next? The same question? The same question, Julio. You are ready? Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, Julio. So the same thing. Let's go, Julio. Let's listen. Let me try one more time. Two. Please listen carefully. If you could donate a large amount of money for scientific or medical research, how would you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need of more research. Explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Okay, if I could donate a large amount of the money for a for scientific and medical research, I would like to donate this money uh, on a specific in invest investigation. Uh, and uh, the person the person who has an epileptic, um, I would like to say is the made a difference because in some cases the people don't have the opportunity to understand uh, his situation because uh, the doctor you say you had an epilepsy, um, you you must to take a, a pill just like that for the for the uh, breakfast, lunch at the diner. Thank you very and much. Again, I would like to. <laughs> Excellent, great job, Julio. Great job in describing one, having a, the description of why you would choose that and how it would be used. The important, Julio, is our grammar and our pronunciation. Many of the words you are confusing how to pronunciate and it makes it difficult to understand you. Um, epileptic, right? Ep epileptic, as well as other words. Also, Julio, you add words. For example, you use the word too, but is not necessary all the time. For example, you say, oh, I, I must too, okay? And there is no two, oh, there. little, oh, little there. grammar mistakes. So these are the two areas you have to be more careful with. 
Now, it's great that you want to use specifically like epileptic or others. And, and I have the main idea. So you get some of it, but it's just the pronunciation you have to be careful with. Okay? Okay. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So we understand the idea, right? You want to listen and try. Now we're going to practice another one. Um, we're going to have a different question. You can, this one first, it's in the chat. And I want you to listen to the answer. Listen to the two examples. They give you an example of how to answer it. Okay. Okay, did everybody open it up? It's about the chemistry department? Yes, okay. Yes. This is part, this is the second type of questions. Ah, yes, Catherine, please go ahead. I'm sorry, teacher, maybe because I am on my cell phone, I am not able to see the study mood on that link that you sent. I mean, it opened up, but it's just um tell me start and then it start with um the question but it's not giving me the option to to listen to the the option it might be because you're on the phone um anybody else okay. is on the phone no i think it's only you catherine but um at the top you should have a an option between test mode and study mode. Click on the study mode. Let me see. I click on start and then no, hardware no to on study mode. No giving study Be before, mode. Before start, um, at the top you should have two options. No, it just says free and then it's just for sign up. I think maybe it's because I am on my phone. I think you're right. I think it's more okay. difficult. Mm -hmm. No problem. I can I can read questions. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, teacher, it's probably when you get double double click on the link you're sharing in the in the message on the mm -hmm. chat room, uh, we had some problems. Um, I just copy the link, open my browser, I paste in the uh, address toolbar, mm -hmm. um, and that way works this link. <laughs> but uh -huh. you. Just click, double clicks on the link. It's impossible in some cases. Ah, thank you so much, Julio, for pointing that out. Okay, so sometimes it's the problem for clicking directly on the link. Sometimes it's necessary copy and paste. Kat, you can try to copy and paste it. Maybe that will work better. Okay. All right, so now we have the idea, okay. Did everybody listen? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, I can listen to you. Okay, good. I'm gonna share with you the tape script. I just wanted everybody to have the opportunity to listen as well. Here, we have a couple of different areas. We're going to read it together. Uh, Sandra is going to read step one, the campus announcement. Then yes. Walter is going to uh, read the mail part in step two, and Catherine is going to read the female part. Okay. Sandra? Uh, we, mm -hmm. Okay. The chemistry department is, now, is planning to award scholarships to students who have received an average grade of 90% uh, percent or above. We have found there to be a serious need for well-educated chemistry students, and the current pool of chemists is highly lacking. By awarding these scholarships, it will allow future chemists to get a better handle on their tuition, cost as 
well as encourage students to study harder in class. After the recent audit, we have found there to be plenty of plans for this department, and we feel this is the best place to use them. Considering this school spends most of its funds on the sport department, we want to get students more interested in chemistry, and we feel this is the best place to start. Okay, great. Now, Catherine, female? This is a bad move for um, the chemistry department. I can't believe they are going to spend school funding like this. Walter, that was you, right? Uh, male. Why would you say that? Have you seen the outdated equipment in the chemistry department? Most of it is older than I am. If the department has more checks for money, they should spend it on an updating chemistry equipment before pushing for more students. I mean, think about it. Most companies use updated equipment, so how do they expect to us to complete prepositions when we are accustomed to using outdated equipment? We're going to be disadvantaged. Yeah, you're right. I never thought about that. We will need to know how to use the the latest equipment in the chemistry field for our future careers. Exactly. Also, I think they should consider spending money on current students who are actually working hard and not try to lower in potential students. I know that a lot of my friends are studying hard. Even though they are not getting an average grade of 90%, they are still getting good grades in chemistry. I think the chemistry department should award them like giving them a bonus or something. That's true. You make a good point. It will be great if me hard work was rewarded. Okay, great. So what do we want? Here, that is the second type of questions. Now, why do I mention it? Why did we read it? Because the second type of question is not only opinion, is input and then response. The input you get is the situation they present you. They present you a situation, they present you a small conversation. And then based on that, you have to answer the question. What is the question that we need to answer based on that? Here, the woman expresses her opinion about the announcement. State her opinion and explain the reason that she gives for holding that opinion. Ah, if you see here, it's not your opinion. Is for your ability to take information, comprehend it, and explain to someone else what they said. That is the idea of the second type of speaking questions. So the first one, it's clear, right? The first type of questions, my opinion, my point of view, what I think. The second type of questions is input, receive information, and explain to someone else what the person said. Before we try to answer it, are there any questions? Any more part complicated, of so teacher, I need to pay more attention. Yes, a little bit more complicated because now it's not only it's not only speaking, speaking. It's speaking mm -hmm. and tell me what he said. Tell me what she said and why. Why is her opinion that? Why is his opinion that? That is the part where you have to be careful with. Before we try to answer, before we practice answering this, okay. Uh, are there any words or any parts of here, the conversation or the instructions that you didn't understand? No, we're okay. We understand everything. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. That, perfect. Is that the input, teacher? This is the input, exactly. Here, okay. and now step three is they give us the question. The question, the woman expresses her opinion about the announcement. State her opinion and explain the reason that she gives for holding that opinion. And now we have to answer it ourselves. Here, I'm going to give you a sample answer so we can get it, Okay. Take a look. Oh, sorry, Catherine, I didn't see that you had your hand raised. My apologies. No, don't worry. I, I just need to acknowledge. Basically, we're going to support her opinion 
Basically, what's she gonna do? You're going to restate her opinion. What is her opinion? Oh, okay. It's not your opinion. You're not going to support it. Only you're going to explain what is her opinion and why she has that opinion. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then if you want to listen to the sample answer, here, I'll show you. I mean, we're gonna make our groups, but if you want to listen to the sample answer, you can listen here. We are going to read it together just to make sure that it's clear for everyone, okay? Julio, can you please read the sample answer for us? Okay, maybe Julio stepped away from the microphone. Oh, no, no. no. Okay, there he is. Okay. I can hear you very, very well. In this moment, I have a problem with my con internet connection. Could you repeat that, please? Yes, Julio. Uh, could you please read this statement? The woman does not. Okay. The woman does not think the chemistry department's plan to offer scholarship to students who have received an average grade of the 19% or above is a good idea. She makes a point to say, continue. Yes, please. Okay, she makes a point to say that the current items on hands in the chemistry lab are very old day. They use the old day equipment for the student because it doesn't allow for them to understand or use the last equipment being used currently in the chemistry field. She also thinks that the department should spend the money on current students who are working hard and reward them for the hard work and their, and their dedication to the department instead of trying, trying, or trying to lure, and the pronunciation is correct. Lure, correct. To lure importation a student and spending money on them. For these two reasons, she is not in agreement with this campus announcement. She feels that phones need to be used in the current lab, considering its condition or used to reward current hardworking students. Mm. Thank you very much, Julio. Thank you very much. So, what do we need to do like this? Look, nothing is my opinion. Nothing is what I think. Everything is following the instructions. The instructions are state her opinion. One, this is her opinion. Two, explain the reason that she gives for holding that opinion. And then we have one opinion, the reason. Second opinion, the reason. Okay, and then at the end, we have the summary. For these two reasons, she's not in agreement. And what is her final feeling? How does she feel or her final ideas here? That is the important part when doing these types of questions. How did we get the vocabulary? Well, I use the information from here and the information from the context, okay, from the conversation. She mentioned the word outdated, she mentioned disadvantage. She mentioned some of these. Ah, so you try to use some of those informations or those numbers in your answers. You want to try to be as professional as possible by restating and giving the correct information. It's okay how to answer uh, type two questions? This is okay. <clears throat> well, teacher, um... Uh, as far as I know, well, as, as far as you said, um, first is an input, then receive the information, and then explain to someone else. Correct. And explain to someone else why that person gave that opinion. Uh -huh. Ah, why the per that person gave her opinion. Correct. Or his, opinion. his or her, uh huh. His or her opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, and that's where this is the part where it's a little bit different in our speaking. 
Because when you speak with friends, you don't have to have a format. You don't need to have a structure. When you speak for an exam, you, ask, you must have a logical idea. You must have a structure, right? So what is the hardest part? Usually the hardest part is the input. The hardest part is ah understanding what they're saying so that you can explain what they said. Now, today we read it, but in the real exam, you're not going to read the transcript. In the real exam, you don't have the transcript. Only they are speaking and what you understand. But today's our first practice, so we can try it. Okay, are we ready to try with our partners? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. let's do it. Remember, watch the time. That's the most important part for your partner to make sure that they have enough time. Share. You can see it? I can. Okay. Now so go. Uh -huh. you you will begin reading. Uh, we don't have to read. You need to really say the 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 answer from her. So in this case you need to speak about mm. in so the, I will time you up. In on step number three then. Yes. All right. So, uh, would you like to 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 give it the answer, and I I will take the time for you. Okay. Move from the chemistry department. I can't believe they are going to spend school funding like this. Why would you say that? Have you seen the outdated equipment in the chemistry department? Most of it is older than I am. If the department has so much extra money, they should spend it on updating the chemistry with the department because she had a really good time for me. Okay, time is over. So now it's the turn. Yeah. You're yeah, finished? because yeah, as I understood, it's only for 45 seconds to talk. Oh, right, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes, that is correct. Teacher. I I don't understand when I saw the plot platform yesterday. And when the in the exercise, we have to to record the Dancer in the platform. No. No, it's only about the conversation that we were reading some minutes ago. Yes, that is correct. Only about answering the questions. So now Jenny is going to answer the questions and Fatima, you watch the time. Yes. Okay. So if you are ready, I'm going to put the, the time, the stoppage. Jenny, ready? 
No. Okay. You only have 15 seconds, so it's time for you to start answering the question. Go. I think that uh, I think that the woman um, don't does it, didn't agree with the with the I don't know because she she saw the the student work hard and that didn't how to get up the scholarship. Okay, time it's over. Okay, all right. Thank you, Jenny, for trying. Um, Jenny, you didn't say anything. Only you only said like two sentences. So you have to be practice a little bit more on trying to organize your ideas before you answer. That way you can get a little bit better. And it's all about just practicing and making sure that you are clear what you need to do and how are the different types of questions that you're going to be asked. So remember, the ones from yesterday are personal opinions. This is not the personal opinion. This is only what you understand from the context and explain what they said. Is that okay, Jenny? Yes. Okay. Teacher, I I have the 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 question about the platform. Okay, Jenny. Hey, we have to record the answer and and say, send you. No, Jenny. No. No. That was the question. Yes, yeah. that question. No, no, no. no Only problem. listen the, the the beep and give the answer and that's right. You don't have to you don't have to send anything. That's what we're just practicing now. Exactly. You're not recording ah, okay. anything, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Good. Okay, very nice. I'm glad most of you tried to answer, you were able to. Now, just be careful because remember, you always have a very specific amount of time. So you don't have extra time to analyze and think and have. Now, what is the important part is that most of your answers are gonna be one of two things. You're gonna have 15 seconds to prepare or 30 seconds to prepare. If you have 15 seconds to prepare, your answers are normally 45 seconds. If you have 30 seconds to prepare, it's normally bigger and you have one minute for speaking. And that's why it's important to start getting, expressing yourself and preparing yourself to answer questions with one minute. Okay? Good. Now, I know that we had a, a couple of... Yeah, how do you say earthquake? <laughs> yes. Another, I feel the earthquake. Again? No. Yes, again. Yes, yes again. again. Nah. Yes. yes. The, cell phone, the cell phone alert. alert. It's off. Ah, yes, it's I see. Yeah. Ah, but this right one is... Now, notification and then it starts to the earthquake. How do you say replicas? Uh-huh. Reply. Replica. Yeah. Replicates. 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 Yes. Okay. But those, uh huh. I think now are smaller, right? Because I didn't I didn't feel anything, but I look. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So the important part for this part of the test is that that you have to be clear on how to answer in 45 seconds or one minute. Okay. So we're gonna practice a little bit more, a few more questions. Remember, it's the same for any question. It doesn't matter the question, only it matters that you're 
you can answer for 45 seconds or one minute. If it's a personal question, it's going to be 45 seconds. If it's a questions where you receive input, it can be the input from a conversation, a dialogue, or other types of things, then it's going to be one minute your answers. Are we okay? Yes, too. Okay, perfect. So in our chat, we have a link for a huge amount of conversation questions. You see that? It's a lot of topics. Lots and lots and lots of topics. It doesn't matter, right? That is the first link. And in the second link, it's similar. The second link is also for a huge amount of questions for you. Now, the important is you choose any questions and you ask your partner. You are not going to share the screen with your partner because your partner is not going to have this information in the TOEFL exam. Your partner is going to have to be able to understand. So it's going to be different questions. You choose one question, your partner choose one question. Not the same topic. You choose whatever topic you want. Okay? That's why we have so many different types of questions there. Okay, did you choose a question? Did you choose a topic? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Walter, please ask me the question. Oh. You said yes, right, Walter, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Okay, okay. Ask so me that the question. General, me the okay. Okay. Okay, for example, uh, the topic for me is abortion. Abortion is right, the pronunciation? Correct, abortion. Okay, the first question is, what is abortion? Okay, well, abortion is depending on the point of view, if it's religious or medical has different sectors. As far as abortion for religious points of views, like my country, abortion is any death to a baby after you have sexual intercourse. This means immediately after we don't understand my country doesn't accept the idea of the medical term of abortion, which is up to eight weeks later. In medical terms, abortion is the killing of a fetus. That's the idea. You see, I have to answer the question 45 mm -hmm. seconds. I need to go to do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Now, of course you have 15 seconds to prepare. I, you always use the time, right? In this moment, I didn't use my time to prepare, but I had a good idea. I know there are two types of abortion. There's abortion for religions, and I know there's abortion for medical purpose. And then I started to, 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 to develop, develop one, explain, develop the other, explain. Then I'm going to compare. Then I, depending on how much time I have, I want to try to use all of it to the maximum to show that I have a good level of English and comprehension. That is the function. Okay, and you see, I didn't, I didn't say Walter. Ah, cual, cual, numero cual? Huh? No, le, no. I have to understand what Walter said, and that's it. I understand. I understand. Okay, we're ready to practice. Everybody has different questions. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're gonna try one more time. Choose your questions. Let's go with our partners. Make sure that we're ready. Please listen carefully. Describe a skill you have that will be important for your success in the modern world and explain why this skill is so important. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep.
Please begin speaking after the beep. bicycle uh, I can I can use I can ride a bike so and I remember when I was a child I like to use it some people or um, it's most likely that people learn how to ride a bike when they are ch in their childhood and uh, most likely but in my case I learned how to ride a bike when I got uh, 11 years old because I didn't have a bicycle uh, at the beginning of my life yeah then I started to 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 uh, got into some competition and tournaments so then I won one of them and I got a bicycle uh, then I remember that I start to ride a bike every single day so you know there are many kind of bicycles too some professional, uh, some just to to play or to use for for child, by mm -hmm. child. But yeah. yeah, in my case, it was funny because I got a, a kind of mountain bicycle. So it was funny because I was uh, starting starting to learn how to use it. But I tried to use it. I tried to learn how to do it, and then I could ride a bike as a other. Uh, child uh older than me and like yeah basically that was uh my experience with bicycles uh, but most likely people know that how to ride it uh, in a most professional way maybe in their adult adult home and yeah maybe i would like to practice in a professional way but later in my life Okay. Sandra, are you watching the time, Sandra? Because it feels like a long time. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> Me too. That, how, how long was that, Sandra? It was, oh my God, one minute and eight seconds. Yes, you have to be careful. All right, no problem. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and Sandra, let you continue and continue. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, what was the question, Sandra? My question is, do you know uh, something about gardening? Well, as you know... No, 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 no. For Fatima, what question did Fatima answer? Uh, no, Fatima, uh, he spoke about bicycles. Yes, what was the question? I don't know. She, uh, she, as she we spoke. understood, we, we think that only have to choose a, a topic and then start to talk about not a specific wow. question. Yes, uh -huh. yes, a specific question, no, no topic like the. That's why the uh -huh. example that Walter gave you. Remember, Walter didn't give me a topic. Walter gave me a specific question. What is abortion? Uh, okay. So. so you have to be careful because never, never in the exam are they going to say food, and you begin talking about food. Never, always specific questions, and you always have to defend those opinions. Okay. But, don't worry. That's why we practice. That's the whole yeah. purpose of practicing. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Good. I see we're trying to get better the ideas. Still a little bit of confusion. Um, remember that the questions are not are always going to be specific. Never is going to be general questions. Always is going to ask you a specific thing, personal, competitive, uh, comparing, or with input or others. We're going to pause right there. Tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and continue practicing some more. 
But now you understand two types of questions. Tomorrow, we're going to see the third type of question so that you can be prepared for all three types of questions that might come on the exam. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, guys. Good night.